What's up, y'all? I got a family feed, so let's get into this tea. We are getting into the second part of Miss Your Favorite Legal Paralegal Cassandra. Part two. Sworn and advised the rights, waived the preliminary hearing, and the state did as well. Um, waves two, judge rule and stainer defendant, please. All right, so let's look at this. I'm gonna click on this. <clears throat> let's see, let's see, let's see. Looks like a lot of information to unpack on this one. Oh, not really. So this is just a summary. Just trying to unpack it. So they were present. So she was sworn and advised of her rights. She waived preliminary hearing. The state also waived the preliminary, uh, pre preliminary hearing. And that says defendant waves two. Oh, waves to judge rule. DCA instantaner, instantaner, defendant enters plea. So she entered a plea of not guilty. That's all it is. So she waived her rights. She waived her, um, well, let me take that back. She did not waive her rights. She acknowledged um, her rights. She waived the preliminary hearing and she pleaded not guilty. The case was then set for December 12th, 2022. So seventh, and then a week later, here we have a motion to withdraw and an order granting the motion to withdraw. So remember, who was that? Mr. Mr. Ward? That uh -huh. was her. Yeah, Clint Ward was her attorney. Clint Ward done put in the... He, he tried to withdraw two years ago. So when Krishan says she's been paying lawyers, my good sis been lying. <laughs> <laughs> It's, I'm, I'm sorry. Once again, I'm going to talk on my own platform and I'm going to speak on my video. So if y'all don't want to be here, the link is in the pinned comment. Your favorite paralegal, Cassandra. All right. Krishana told us that she was going <laughs> to. Krishana told us she put 20000 or 25000 She said. The, the fees is $25,000. do not get me wrong. Maybe she spoke to a new lawyer, but I don't think she paid them, number one, because it would be, their information would be in the paperwork, okay? That's number one. Number two, I would say maybe that was for the James Wright case, but it's very clear that she is in court alone. <laughs> Unless she has a public defender, because, you know, one can be, you know, given to her if she don't have a, a lawyer. So... Her sister trying to get the lawyer money makes it even worse because it's given she was trying to speak to another lawyer that is not the original lawyer of this whole. And then the nerve to come out talking about she been paying blue face bills, Lord. I ain't going to lie. When you turn 30, there's some shit you think about and you be like, man, that was stupid as hell. I don't know why I ain't do it. When she turned 30, she going to be like, I don't know why I ain't pay that shit. I don't know why I paid it, but I learned my lesson now. I, I guarantee. So here we have Mr. Hopefully. William Ward. He filed his motion, alleges that the following. So here, here is the reason Damn. why her counsel um, withdrew from the uh, from her case. Okay. That the defendant has breached her financial contract with the counsel. So and she wasn't you, paying the lawyer in 2022. Krishan! You file a motion to withdraw. You have to let the court know if there's any big, well not big, if there's any hearings that is set, any trials that's coming up. Um, so that way not only will the court be on alert, but the defendant and the new attorney will be on alert if she does get a new attorney. Um, so it was, if we remember back in the previous docket, they said that they was going to reset the hearing to December 19, 2022. <sighs> so pretty much he withdrew because Rock did not pay her. Um, <laughs> she didn't pay him. And y'all, I see this. I was like, girl, hi, girl, girl. That's my girl. <laughs> but she ain't no different than the criminal um, clients that I have to chase down all the time. Like, hey, you know, it's two weeks. We haven't got payment yet. We don't got payment. We got to file this motion, motion to withdraw. So it's crazy. So it's not uncommon. Uh, but, you know. And Definitely I, ain't uh, uncommon. I damn sure had a lawyer withdraw on me when I was in my 20s as well. But still. <laughs> Krishan, y'all didn't have money. I was broke. <laughs> she not broke. It stresses me out. I don't want to say attorneys don't work because it is us paralegals that do our uh, work. But I get it. Girl, you know, I was they, broke. Okay keep their firm running so she breached a contract financial contract therefore he filed a motion and, <clears throat> and the judge did grant that motion and now coming to the hearing coming to the hearing so the defendant fails to appear bench warrant again so she doesn't have an attorney she didn't come back oh, to court on December so, 19th. so guess what they did they sent out another bench warrant enough. and like i need y'all to come get her because she did not appear to court all right now on uh, the first no the 13th so january 13 2003 we have an entry of appearance let me see let me see who that is 
All righty. So our girl, January 13, 2023, she gets new counsel. Bennett and Gallon PLLC entered okay. in appearance as attorneys of record for her. What, okay. okay. All right. All right. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So they ended up filing a motion for discovery and inspection, which is mm. good because, you know, you got to collect all the evidence. Right. You got to right. review it. All that good stuff to see. I'm not going to tell you all the secrets, but <laughs> normally you got to review up the evidence to see if there's any loopholes that you can kind of go in. And I'm not going to read all of this because it does have some case law. And usually what happens is that they want to enter in other cases similar to this particular case um, to kind of prove their point. If that makes sense. Um, and that's all it is. It's just the defendant's motion for discovery and inspection and brief in support. So pretty much what they're doing is they're requesting any evidence that the state has so that way they can review it because that's out of respect. Um, you know, you can't go to court and not know what evidence the other, the other counsel has. Everybody needs to be on the same page. Um, and so that's all that the firm did was they were requesting any and everything that the state had against the uh, defendant. So moving on alone, let's see. So reinstate bond 215. All right, so 215, defendant was not present. So motion to reinstate bond was denied. Warrant and bond forfeiture will remain in place. So, okay. All right, so here's the motion to reinstate bond that was filed on the 13th of January, 2023. There was an order setting hearing on motion. So let me see what this is. It's a little bit confusing because I don't know if it's an order granting. No, okay. So this is just, um, it's kind of like a notice of hearing saying, hey, the motion to re uh, reinstate bond that was filed is going to be um, heard before the judge at a certain time. So that's all that was. So they, they filed that on the 17th. And I believe here, um, because she was not present, dude said, no, nope, we are going to deny this bond and the bench warrant is still going to be in place. Now. They gave her chance after chance after chance to go to court and her ass still didn't go. <laughs> uh... March 13th, I'm sorry, March 3rd, oh, 2023, Krishan was present with her counsel of record, Mr. Ken Gallen, by phone. Um, he requested for uh, the case to be set for a plea hearing on the 15th of March, 2023. And this brings us to where we are at now. Okay, not, not well, let me take that back. This brings us to what Krishan initially had to do in order to be done with this. I'm like, girl, it was not that hard. <laughs> okay. I was like, oh man, I wish I, wish I was in Cali and just, it, you know, it's, it's very unfortunate. It, it really is. She is young. Um, she does have a child. And I just think that she really needs, I don't even want to say guidance because we learn from our life lessons, but it's just yes, something like, do. hey, when it comes to stuff like this, I, court stuff, court stuff. You can't play. And y'all, let me ask y'all a question because this is when I can speak on my channel. So for those that don't want to see it, once again, it's in the pin comment on this live. Your favorite paralegal, Cassandra. Cassandra! Let me see. Let me, let me see. Krishan, if we all look at her examples of people that she have in her life to actually tell her what to do correctly, she don't have an example, okay? That's why you hear people having OGs and you got people who got people that they can look up to. Not only does she really not have good guidance in front of her, but she don't listen anyway. So if she had somebody to sit there and tell her the truth, she ain't listening anyway. Like she needed, she needs somebody to literally handle all her business. Let me ask you this, uh, Cassandra. I keep trying to say, put a CR on it. Cassandra, let me ask you this. Why is it that she couldn't let the, the, um, the lawyer go to court for her in all these situations? Okay. No, let me ask that correctly. Why? Couldn't the lawyer just go to court for her and her not having to show up herself? Now, I know when I had, when I dealt with my probation, I had to go to court and I was pissed because I'm like, I'm paying the lawyer. What the f am I coming to court for? But the, he was, he was just like, the judge want to see you. You know what I'm saying? Type. Sh my thing is why she had to keep going back to Oklahoma when she paying somebody to, to handle that business. Maybe I'm asking you another question that you ain't got the damn answer to anyway. But I'm just saying. This is not an option. Certain judges require your appearance. And that's a fact. Okay. You got to deal with. <sighs> and if you can't deal, it, deal with it, you got to find a way or people who can deal with it. Because this can mess up your whole entire life. I know because I sit here and I do this on a daily basis. And I'm just like, man. As you get older, you'll be like, man, I wish I would have done this. Yeah. Oh, um, so I'm still praying for my girl. So we're going to the plea hearing that was on March 15, 2023. It says that uh, Krishan Rock was present with her attorney. She sworn in the bias of her rights. Um, uh, you know, she had to let them know that she was a Native American or enrolled in any uh, federally recognized tribes. Um, defendant. All right. Defendant EPG to both counts. So I think she ended up pleading guilty to both counts. Remember, there's just you have count one and count two. So for count one, 
listen, four years deferred. So they deferred it for four years. So if you know what a deferment is, just like, you you know, you went to school, you got student loans, you got out, you can't pay for them. So they deferred it, meaning that you don't have to pay for it until, you know, a certain amount of time. That's in this case. Okay. So for the possession of the uh, Mary Jane with the intent to sell, Uh she got four years deferred, a uh, $300,000 fine. Well, three thousand. And you know, these are like little states. I don't know exactly what they they are, but they always find like little fines to (laughs) have you pay for something. And then obviously court costs. Count two, same thing. Four years deferred, five hundred dollar fine, fifty dollars BCA in court costs. Here's the big one. Uh So she was able to pay thirty five hundred dollars. Oh, this is okay. So this is the community service and all that. One hundred twenty hours community service in lieu of thirty days in CCJ to be performed at a homeless shelter within six months. So she could have knocked it out two times a month for the next six months. Now, y'all know damn well you ain't going to get no 20-year-old today to sit down and do no goddamn community service. <laughs> I know. In my 20s, I wasn't going to sit down and do <laughs> Girl. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Forfeiture. Set aside. No damn 20-year-old about to sit down and do no goddamn community. Especially when they got a bag. Please. At the homeless shelter at that. Okay? Please. Uh, nah. So that means they did not they did not forfeit the bond. It was exonerated. The uh, bench warrant was lifted. She was ordered to community service or the community, um, what you call that man, officer. <laughs> and the, the, okay, uh, the, bond exonerated. What that mean? Look, I be having to look up these words. See, you the paralegal, not me. You know what I mean? Exonerated. Y'all can laugh all y'all want. I don't give a damn. All right. Absolve someone from blame. F- someone from blame for a fault or wrongdoing, especially after due consideration of the case. That didn't give me nothing. Release someone from the duty. Okay. <laughs> so she was exonerated. Bond forfeiture set aside. Bond exonerated. I, explain to me what that means. I'm lost. Go to the DA's office to set up a payment plan to pay those. Means she ain't got to pay it. Got it. All right. So y'all see this oh, right Oh, my here. good sis, Kendra. Okay. So instead of her doing 30 days in jail, she had to perform 120 hours of community service. All right. At a homeless shelter. Right. Within six months. Okay. That was it. Here's a breakdown of all her costs. All her costs. Here. Warrant recall notice file, copy taken. Yeah, I talked to I talked to um what's your name on here? Key B. I talked to Key B every day. We probably talk all day long, just back and forth about everything that's going on. And she kept saying to me, if Krishan would have just did the damn community service. <laughs> and of course, I never seen where it was at because I'm just trying to keep up with the conversation. But when you really get into what's going on, like you really know what's going on, Krishan, I But like I said, sitting a 20, 20 year old down to do damn community service. If she would have sat there for one week, she could have knocked it out. Every day and just knock the shit out. Well, she would have to stay there for a minute. <laughs> like like all day long. <laughs> but at least it would have been knocked out. Krishan was more so on some like, lock me up. I don't want to do this. I think she'd rather be locked up than do that community service. No cap. She could be in a club <laughs> drinking but not do a community service. Girl, because don't nobody feel like doing that shit. And this is not excuses. First of all, why do y'all take holding somebody accountability excuses? She didn't want to do it. When a person tell you, I don't want to do it, they don't want to do it, right? So she should have just served the damn time. <laughs> That's my whole point. If if Oklahoma come extradite her, she can go serve her time. Might as well go ahead, sit down 30 to 60 and get it over with. Yeah, for those that's new, y'all want me to drag it or never happen. Let it go. Okay, you on the wrong channel. I don't do the dragging and the bashing. I don't I don't make money from like uh, about people all the time. That's not my thing. I like to talk about what's going on. 
I like to have a, a talking point with my conversations. I like to have conversations. And yeah, I don't do the bashing. So anyway, uh, she made it very clear and it shows that she didn't want to do it. That's not an excuse. She didn't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's biting her in the ass. She needs, I hope she get extradited. Take her ass to Oklahoma, sit. I would tell them I ain't paying them shit. Now, if you don't want to do, if you don't want to do probation, uh, not probation, if you don't want to go to the homeless shelter and do community service, that'll give you all the more reason to sit your ass down. That'll give you all the more reason to sit this one out. California is definitely a different place. They ready to let her go. They're ready to let her go. California actually don't care. California is the ones that's like, all right, first of all, we fool. That's number one. Did she kill anybody? Are you bleeding? Let's get her the f out of here. <laughs> a lot of clients ask for jail time versus probation and paying all them fees. First of all, who want to pay the fees? But if you got the money, I feel like pay the fees. I feel like she was actually cool paying the fees, but she don't want to do that that um community service first of all you got to do community service in oklahoma somewhere you're not from you don't know where you at you got to go do community service over there or matter of fact cassandra did they say she had to do community service in oklahoma matter of fact it's okay. 120 hours community service in lieu of 30 days in C ccj to be performed at the homeless shelter within six months Nope, in Cali. So she could have did this shit in Cali. That was it. Here was a breakdown of all her costs. All her costs. <laughs> Here, warrant recall, notice filed, copy taken. So everything that she was supposed to do, payment plan. I those are the conditions of up. her supervised probation. She pled guilty. Oh, she attested for God. the state jurisdiction. Uh, yeah. So all it was never excuses, y'all. This ain't excuses, girl. It. Okay, let me break y'all down into nigga terms because y'all don't get it. She don't want to do it. Whether it's in Cali, whether it's in Oklahoma, she don't want to do it. <laughs> I, I see y'all never had people kind of just tell you the truth. Like, I don't want to do it. And y'all think y'all going to make them do it. You're not. She don't want to do it. Sit, sit this one out. Go to jail for 60 days and chill. Like she don't want to do it. You making excuses. How's it an excuse when somebody's blatantly telling you and showing you, I don't want to do it. That's not an excuse. That's standing on business. I don't want to do it. <laughs> so know the difference. Y'all come on now. That's crazy. Now, I don't want to do look it. Look at this. I'm going to go to the deferment. She didn't want to do it. So you guys can kind of, well, I mean, it was clear as day as to what she had to do. Not only did she not want to do it, she didn't. <laughs> That's the worst part. Christian was probably like, uh-huh. What'd they say? Because you know she didn't listen in court. What, what'd they say? Yeah, you got to do a 120-hour community service. I got to do what? <laughs> 100 hours, 20. She probably was like, nah, I just do the time, bro. Niggas was around her was probably saying, no, Krishan, you don't need to be in jail. You go, you got to do this, you got to do that. She probably was like, I do the time. I don't want to do that, sh bro. <laughs> I'm dead ass serious. So here it was telling her what her charges were. <laughs> here is the term of her department. Oh, my God. So until the 15th day of March 2027 for count one, same with count two. Oh my God. Here were the special rules and conditions that she had to follow. DLC supervision. Complete 120 hours community service in lieu of 30 days in jail. Community service must be performed at a homeless shelter. Uh, and defendant to pay $991 of, to the district attorney's office. And all you had to pay was a, a ban? These were the fees that... <laughs> Nigga, I, oh, that's, oh, that's for something else. So her fees was basically $4,000. I paid about $5,500 for mine. That she had to pay. <laughs> count one $3,000. Count two $500. Then you have court calls, VCA, and restitution. Damn. Do you know somebody in the chat talking about she could have paid me to sign off with my nonprofit? Y'all, do you not do you know I didn't even think about that? Cause y'all know damn well I would have been like, what's going on? Nothing. Okay, let me holler at you. 
they want me to do 120 hours of community service. You know what I need you to do. And I know that's against the law. And, and listen, don't come for me. I ain't, in, I ain't the one in the situation. I ain't, in the, I ain't the one in the situation. <laughs> okay? So don't, don't, don't come over here saying I'm doing some illegal shit. Okay? I'm saying, vicariously speaking, if I was Krishan, you know, you already, you, know, you seen it. You know what I got to do. And we're going to ahead and slide you. So we can put that behind us. You know what I mean? Put it behind me. Sign off. <laughs> but once again, she ain't got nobody to tell her that. She don't f*** with whack. Don't want to listen to whack. Because I guarantee whack would have told her the same sh But she don't want to listen to whack. Man, hey, let me holler at you. What's going on? I got about I got about ten for you. <laughs> How much? <clears throat> Nigga, you probably pay somebody a thousand, they'll do it. No problem. Signed off. Sealed. Hell, if they if they like her a lot, they did they would have did it for free. But once again, this is Krishan not having no guidance. A B deciding I don't wanna do it. And she didn't. Get what? She didn't. So this was the order that she had to follow. All she had to do was 120 hours within six months. Pay her court fees and just ride that shit out until March 15, 2027. Could have did a two-week event with a different celebrity guest and revamped her image now, while doing it. And we're going to get into this. So May 8th, day before my birthday, <laughs> the warrant was issued. All right. Now, the longer that the bench warrant sits out, the more fees is going to be attached to Oh, now the so fees that's why is going up. See? One collections fee, 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 order that the judge signed so 12 she paid the court fees in full the warrant was taken back in july the warrant lifted oh all was well right because remind you mind you it's, it's good she paid the court costs but we have to remember on this date they gave her six months to complete that 120 hour community service so she so paid yes, to is, get that lifted and still didn't do the goddamn <laughs> good that she paid her court costs in full oh but my god mind you if it's six months, we still, she has two more months from this date in order to ensure that her community service was completed. So as you can see, there was no other, nothing else filed. Okay. Nothing else filed. Now I do want everybody's probably thinking like, well, that's their fault. Why didn't file? And I get it. But around, I want to say, so this is in the July, August, September, usually between August and December judges go on vacation. So they try to clear their docket. So they might have too much on the docket to where, you know, they can't fit nothing else in until January or February. Attorneys go on vacation. Y'all, who so the hell is Christine? That's why we pop, we see this um, gap in entries on the court docket. February 23rd. So mind you, I'm sure September came around. That was, that was when she had to complete her community service, her 120 hour community service. So come February 23rd of this year, Oh, they had to file an application to accelerate the deferred sentence because she failed. Yes, she paid the fines, but she failed to do the community service. Okay. Also take into account of what happened in Cali. With this James. whole, this whole live, all I hear is she ain't want to do it. That's right. Now I'm not sure if they caught wind of this just yet, but I don't think that they have, but we'll go through this so you guys can see. So here it just briefly summarizes what her charges were, what her sentences were. And now, if we look, it said the said defendant is in violation of the terms and conditions of the probation set by the court to writ C attached doc violation report. So this was dated June 27th, 2023. So I'm going to go here. So June 7th, let's see. So it's in between this time here. So here, so July, she paid her court costs in full. Remember, we thought that was a good thing. But when we look at this, Stuff has been happening behind the scenes. So on June 27th, before she paid her court costs in full, they submitted a violation report. Here, once again, it just summarizes her information, her charges, so on June 27th, her deferred um, 
sentence and the date that it was supposed to end. So how can I say this? Her community service was to be completed by September 14, 2024. So like I said previously, if she would have taken, taken care of her fines and did her 120 hours, it would have been smooth sailing all the way to her discharge date, which it, yes, it is a long time. We're just in 2024. You got four years. I get it. I get a boo. But yeah. Wait, wait, wait. It, it, did uh, Cassandra leave? Cassandra, you gone? So the officer submitted this and- Because this 2027 thing is something else I'm confused about. He stated that. So when Krishan got, uh, when the judge- ordered, Don't worry, I'm going to get my board tonight. ordered her to do the deferred sentence. Oh, you here? Um, this twenty twenty seven thing was she supposed to stay in um Oklahoma to twenty twenty seven? Yeah, twenty twenty seven. Was she supposed to stay there until then? And that supervision date. That's for Oklahoma. She had four years. And the community service and the fines. She requested an interstate supervision transfer, meaning that because she is in California. That she wants to report to no because she transferred for pro probation to Cali. Okay, so she could have she just would have been on probation till twenty twenty seven. That's it. Okay. A, you know to California, so she doesn't okay. have to go back and forth to Oklahoma, which makes sense. A lot of people do that. A lot of people do that. So hell it, yeah, I got my transfer here. I ain't got time for that shit. Not y'all. Y'all think I'm tipsy? Y'all would know whenever y'all would know if I was tipsy. I'll let you know. Let me go have one more glass of this. It's a wrap. <laughs> it just kind of tells you what the, the actions that has taken. So anytime you have transferred to another supervision agency, they are now, they're the receiving agency. So they are responsible for making sure, you know, locating you, contacting you, making sure that, I'm oh, sorry, oh, making sure that you are doing what you are supposed to do. The main thing here is her checking in and doing her community service. So these is what, these are the um, offenses that she failed to do and they reported. So the uh, reporting officer had two attachments, attachment A and B. Um, attachment A was the violation report um, that was dated June 9th, and it was submitted by the supervising officer from the state of California. Attachment B shows how many times they tried to locate her. Now, I covered this, I think, briefly on Bangla's channel. Um, I know it was a, a lot of lives before, so hopefully this is a refresher <laughs> for, um, you know, the the now members and to anybody new that's um, following up on oh, this. Oh, y'all, let me tell y'all something about me. If I'm drunk, I'm off day. <laughs> I ain't yet, but... I'm going to tell y'all two things. A, I got to pee. B, I want to go get, I, I want to go, you know, pour myself another glass. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to the next video. Um, I love y'all. Uh, remember, I'm ending my video. Y'all, we're going to go to the next video. Y'all, we've established three to four things on this one as well. Y'all going to get my conclusion on the last video. So just come on to the next one.